And with a lot of sickness spreading across the city, state, country, and world tonight, the most simple action you can take to stay healthy. Now, whether you sing happy birthday or the alphabet, that 20 seconds washing your hands correctly could help save lives. With the potential for disease, health experts are recommending what our mothers taught us. Q2's David J checked in at Riverstone Health today to remind everyone to wash your hands. Warm running water. You want to wet your hands. Get some sort of soap on your hands. It doesn't have to be antibacterial soap. Any kind of soap is acceptable. And then you really want to take a while, a good 20 seconds, make sure you're getting the backs of the hands all the way up to the wrists, the nail beds, the knuckles. Marilyn Tapia, Riverstone Health's Director of Environmental Health, often teaches those in the food industry how to wash their hands. And to illustrate how well it works, she uses glow powder. It's to simulate the presence of germs or other kind of organisms that might be on my hands. This glows under black light. So a lot of people, when they wash their hands, they just turn on the water, maybe they get a little soap, they rub them, you know, they call it good to go. Then they might even just wipe their hands on their, on their, on their clothing. Right down in the palm, there's still some in there, up here on the wrist. She then showed her hands after washing for 20 seconds. A lot less of that fluorescent powder on my hands now. You want to turn off the faucet either with your elbow or use the paper towel. Another recommendation from Marilyn if you're in a public restroom, after you wash and dry your hands, use the towel to open the door. About 30% of people are said to not wash their hands after they use the bathroom, so you know there's been a lot of dirty hands on that door handle. And then no matter what you touch, if you're washing your hands, you're removing the germs and the debris from your hands. In Billings, David J. MTN News. 30%. 30% no. don't wash That's kind of surprising. Hands. Wow. Marilyn Tapia also says cell phones pick up a lot of germs. She recommends cleaning your phone with something safe, such as what you might use to clean your eyeglasses.